What it is, y'all? It's your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back today with more Dokkan Battle. Now, today we have some interesting news. So, as you guys know, uh, Saiyan Day is coming up really soon. That is coming up on the 18th of uh, March. So, in the meantime, we have an interim event, and that, of course, is the Bardock event. Now, the uh, the Saiyan Day event has already been teased as, I think, two or three times now, as being Battle of Gods. Uh, it's not proven, it's not confirmed, but that seems to be what it is. Um, so, I don't think this is, like, a lead into that. I think this is just filling in the blanks for the, uh, the Dokkan Fest that we're missing. So, so don't read too much into this. So, of course, for, for Bardock, we got some really good stuff here. We've got the uh, login bonuses. We've got the special missions. We're going to look at those specifically. This right here is pretty cool. Hidden act hidden potential activation campaign for both the Ginyu Force and Bardock. So, basically, if you have both of those uh, teams completely maxed out in the um, in hidden potential, which I think I do. I know I don't have them easy aid because I was super lazy about that. Uh, but I definitely have the max potential. So, I'll have to go... Double check and make sure we have all that done. But if you have the max potential, it looks like we're going to get some pretty sweet rewards. Now, tonight and coming will be the Dokkan Fest for Bardock. And Bardock does look really good. We'll cover all that tomorrow in the uh, the summoning video. But for now, just know that he isn't coming tonight. Uh, I'll do my summons really early in the morning and then upload them tomorrow morning for you guys to enjoy. Uh, I'm not going to go too crazy on this banner. Just because Saiyan Day is around the corner and I expect that. To, uh, we just had a carnival event, uh, carnival event, so I don't know if it's going to be a carnival or a Dokkan Fest LR, but I'd be shocked if it was another carnival, like, right on the back of this. It might be a gold coin LR, which kind of would hurt the hype, but I'm kind of hoping for a Dokkan Fest LR at this point. Especially considering the carnival events have just become way too common. Like, I hate to say that. When they first dropped, I was, like, super about those, uh, those carnival events, and I'm just like... Yeah, they're here. You know, they're, they're a thing. Um, overflowing Power Pack. This is just going to be the the pack that's up for sale where you can grab uh, the tickets for Bardock and all that good stuff. You know how this stuff works by now. Basically, every Dokkan Fest we get anymore has these packs and has those tickets. So, of course, we're going to grab those first. Burst Summon. Characters who can play an active role in Burst Mode assemble. So, Burst Mode is coming back. Uh, in fact, we should see that here shortly. So this is literally going to be a summon for Burst Mode, which looks like it's going to favor uh, Vegeta units. So if you're lacking some Vegeta units, you can, you can summon on that. But I think the vast majority of these units will probably already have. And of course, because Bardock's here, Dragon Stones are on sale, and the stones are literally as... I guess... I, guess, uh, I don't want to call them miserable, but... They're, they're not great. 32 stones twice and 91 stones four times. Yeah, it's, it's like you really just don't want to sell this unit. But we have stone packs. Elder Kaiser back. Uh, of course, the Dokkan Fest. Uh, we're getting a new Dokkan event, actually, for Bardock. So I don't think we've actually had a Bardock Dokkan Fest. Before. We have the LR. Yeah, I don't think we've had a, Bar a Bardock Dokkan Fest ever, strangely enough. We have several units in the game, but... Never a Dokkan Fest, funny enough. Uh, so, new missions in the Fighting Legend Goku, Fighting Legend GT Goku, and Fighting Legend Vegeta. So we'll have to go take a look at all those. Uh, those uh, Looks like all that will be live tonight as the event goes live. We'll probably include the Bardock team and whatnot, well, all that good stuff. Uh, Awakened Power, Trial Towards New Horizons, Limited Event Renewal. That'll be coming back. Uh, we're also getting uh, burst mode for the Dokkan event for uh, for Bojack. So that'll be really interesting. So why would Bojack be Vegeta? You'd think that would be Gohan. Maybe it's just Super Saiyan 2s in general. That would make sense. That actually could be what it is. But that's not the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta on the side. That's just the Saiyan Saga Super. I don't know. We'll have to see what it is. Um, I know it's been on JP, but I forget exactly what all that was uh, was dealing with back then. Okay. Burst mode could be attempted in stage one in the above event and on uh, on Super 2 difficulty. So we'll talk about all that. That deserves its own video. Uh, virtual Dokkan Clash, that is getting re uh, renewal. I think the current one just ended, like last night or something. So we're getting a new one of those. 
And of course, all these events are reopening. Blast Battle, the Fearsome Ginyu Force, uh, and even the Cooler Team. So maybe, so the Cooler Team doesn't look like it's included, but it looks like if you want to beef up your Cooler Team, there you go. Uh, so all like the major free-to-play teams look like they're getting a boost here. Uh, Fearsome Charge, Breaking the Siege, defeat the uh, numerous Frieza soldiers and get awesome rewards. So another challenge event that, once again, deserves its own video. Uh, Extreme Z Battle. This is the Extreme Z Battle for Piccolo going live tonight. So good stuff that. Lots of stuff to talk about. There's actually, it looks like there's a ton to discuss in the, uh, in the coming days. And Extreme Z Area looks like this is for the Cooler Squad. Uh, so reopening that Extreme Z area, um, Prime Battle events uh, available daily, which is good for me because I'm actually backing one of the Prime Battles because, once again, when that dropped, I was uh, kind of a little bit lazy, admittedly. Uh, all right. The Gentle Destroyer and the Prince Prodigy Strike events. Uh, these will be available every single day. Uh, see, Dokkan event available daily. The, the Bojack event will be uh, available daily. Uh, Extreme Z, because you can guess Bojack's going to be on the, the banner. Pre pretty much, <laughs> excuse me, pretty much is why that's the case. Uh, we are going to be getting Extreme Z Dokkan Fest for Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. Is he getting an easy A? Ooh, yes. Ooh. Oh, I cannot wait to see what his easy A entails. Uh, I know it's probably on JP. I'm not going to go looking for it. But it says here, more characters can be extreme Z awakened through the event. So pay attention. There's a lot more coming here. So, and then, uh, of course, next week. That all drops next week. Uh, both uh, the Mass Saiyan and the Super Saiyan 3 uh, Bardock events reopen. That'll be really, really, really fun. Uh, new stage of the Collection of Epic Battles actually kicks off on the 13th. And that, that and Explosive Chain Battle will be like the last things before Saiyan Day. Explosive Chain Battle drops Four days before Saiyan Day. So literally, this is like your your 18-day warning. <laughs> Start saving. So for me, I've got 172 Dragon Stones. Obviously, the key is just, uh, just regenerated, and that's like 30 stones right there. Plus the Bardock packs, plus the sales. So I'm probably not going to go too deep into Bardock. I might go like 150 stones and then call it. Um, and obviously, I'd do some tickets and things like that. But I'm not going to go crazy because, once again... I'm going to try to save as much as I can for the uh, for the incoming uh, Saiyan Day event. In fact, if I can do tickets only, I might do that. Uh, let's take a quick look here, see if we've got the stuff. Uh, let's see. So, hidden activation potential. This was the big one. Okay. Uh, during the campaign event, the special events for the Ginyu Force and the uh, Battle Smart Brawlers Team Bardock will be available daily, plus the acquired stamina is half. Nice. Level up the specified character super attacks to level 10 and fully activate their hidden potential. I think all that's done for me. Members of the Guinea Forest have uh, great attack and defense stats, while Bardock, team Bardock members can reduce damage up to 50%. Nice. Uh, recruit the members of Guinea Forest who are all extreme class and team Bardock members who are all super class. And by recruiting all these members and uh, get a chance to shrink the members of blah, 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 blah. And I believe they all have easy A's, so you can enroll extreme Z battles. So if you haven't run those, uh, I will tell you, go run them. But <clears throat> event missions. So level everyone went up to, uh, yeah. So do their hidden potential. You get complete all the missions. Does that say six dragon stones? Let's go over here and take a look. I'm going to write out how few I actually have maxed out. I think I have them all maxed out, but I could be wrong on that. Ooh, look at that. So, uh, who am I lacking? No one. Good. Let's go. So that would be 33 dragon stones. So if you don't have a maxed, it is worth, it is super worth. So go take advantage of that guys. That was pretty much it. Like comment, share all that good stuff. I'll be back with more Doka battle for you guys. We got a ton to talk about this week and, uh, I promise we're going to try to get back on the, uh, the five videos a week on this. I know <clears throat> things have been rough. I've been very, very sick lately, uh, but I'm going to try to get back to it. Appreciate you guys' continued support. Like, comment, and definitely share these videos out if you're enjoying them, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.